So today we'll be talking about uh, plotting the ship's position using position lines, transferring of position lines and particularly uh, the concept of uh, running fix. Alright, so let's start with uh, what are position lines. So position lines can be drawn on the basis of uh, coastal uh, or celestial observations. So when we talk about coastal and we'll talk about coastal here today because we're talking about chart work. So position lines can be drawn as a bearing from uh, a lighthouse or a fixed object on land. Or it can be drawn as a range circle as well. Alright, so let me show you what position lines is and how you can plot the ship's position using position lines. So you can see here, uh, these are two position lines uh, that must be bearing lines from fixed objects on land. The intersection of this gives you the position of the ship. So if you obtain two bearings from say two lighthouses uh, using the azimuth mirror or azimuth circle on the ship, you get the bearings, so the two bearings, uh, you can plot the ship's position at sea. This position becomes more accurate if you can have one more uh, or three or more uh, position lines. If you can obtain the intersection of these, then it gives you a more accurate position. All right, but uh, they will give you an accurate position if these uh, fixed objects or lighthouses are located as wide as possible. So, of course, there is no fixed value, but normally when I was at sea, I was taught that it should be at least 45 degrees apart from each other because that gives you a good angle of cut. So when you get bearing lines from objects which are widely located, at least 45 degree or more, uh, you get a good cut of the bearing lines or the position lines. And this shows that position is quite accurate. All right, so this gives you a vessel's fixed position. The fixed position is denoted by a circle. Uh, now, if I take an example of a bad cut of a position line, what does that mean? That means when things are uh, not located as far as they should be, or uh, the angle is not very good. So, for example, you get a bearing line here, say, so uh, this is the second bearing line that you get, and this is the third one. So, the angles of these bearings are, or the objects are not that widely located from each other, and they don't give a good angle of cut. So you can see here that these three red position lines or the interse intersection of these three position lines is not giving you a very good angle of cut here because of the position that you obtain here may not be very accurate. So you may not be very sure on uh, where the ship's position is at this point of time. Uh, it gives you a good idea of it. Of course, if you don't have any other objects available, you can use these objects, but uh, you can see the difference uh, that you get in the fixed position when you obtain a fixed position from objects which are widely located compared to objects not so widely located which don't give you a good angle of cut. So these are the concepts of position lines and how to obtain the vessel's position through the intersection of position lines. Uh, also talk about uh, position circles and these are position circles. These are position circles they are basically range circles. So if you know the uh, range uh, or the distance from a fixed object, you can draw rain circles and those rain circles are the intersection of two or more rain circles uh, or the intersection of two rain circles and bearing line can give you an accurate position of the ship. And these rain circles are also drawn uh, in horizontal sextant angles. So if you have seen my video on horizontal sextant angles, you can uh, see that how rain circles are drawn using horizontal sextant angles as well, but sometimes they can also be drawn through rain. So if you know the range or the distance of a lighthouse, uh, two circles can be drawn in the intersection of that and if you want to complement it with another bearing line then those uh, intersection of those position circles and position lines gives you an accurate position of the ships. So these are the concepts of uh, position lines and position circles and how they intersect with you, uh, the ship's position. And the, another thing that I want to discuss here is the concept of the cogged hat. So the cogged hat sometimes results if the bearings are such that uh, they do not intersect perfectly. That could be because the angle of cut is uh, not very poor, not very good actually. And the objects are not as widely located or the angle at which the bearing you obtained was not very good. Or the bearings, there could be some errors in the bearings obtained itself. So in that case, you get a cogged hat. What is a cogged hat? That's the triangle that you see after the three red colored position lines have intersected each other. So they have not intersected each other at the same very point because of which you cannot pinpoint the ship's position. Now, whenever you get a cogged hat, 
normally in geometry you basically obtain the centroid of the triangle uh, you can obtain the centroid of the triangle by bisecting the three sides but when it comes to coastal navigation when you are very close to dangers of navigation or land or uh, possibility of low depth or wrecks uh, close to the shore whenever you get a cocked hat for safety reasons you always know that the vessel's position is close to the danger so you don't worry about the centroid of the triangle but you put your vessel uh, at a position which is closest to the danger and take action accordingly because that gives you some kind of a safety margin to navigate your vessel safely all right so assume that uh, in any cocked hat situation your vessel is at the position which is closest to the nearest danger that could be a low depth that could be a wreck that could be the land that could be um, a, a, an island or something like that all right now let's talk about running fix so what is running fix running fix is basically when we transfer position lines so i'll show you examples three different examples of running fix and how do you obtain the running fix so this is a basic example here there is no set or current and i'll explain what running fix is and then i will take the example of a, a leeway and uh, the effect of wind and current as well so let's see what a basic running fix is so let's say a running fix is uh, a transfer of position line so what does that mean that means let's say in the first position or say at uh, 0800 as per this example here you obtain a bearing line from a fixed object it could be a lighthouse but you don't know the range of the lighthouse so because of some reason you cannot obtain the range of the lighthouse but you only get a bearing so from a single bearing from a single position line you cannot get the vessel's position because you are not very sure where the vessel is at this point of time running fix is basically assuming uh, that the vessel is somewhere on this position line so you take any point on this position line and the course and distance traveled uh, for a particular time so in this case the example of uh, say about 15 minutes so the speed that you will draw is for 15 by 60 of course multiplied by the speed of the ship so you can draw it for see the lesser the time the better is it is because in coastal navigation you are trying to plot the ship's position sometimes it should be less than 15 but for academic purposes we are taking 15 minutes so you draw the ship's course and speed made good for the time of travel in this case is 15 minutes and you can draw it from any point on the bearing line because your ship can be on any point on this bearing line you are not sure where it is so from any point on the bearing line just draw the course and speed made good in the last say 15 minutes or 10 minutes in this case of course it's 15 minutes and then this becomes the course made good course made good is denoted by double arrows and then uh, after those 15 minutes of course and distance you just basically transfer the previous position line to the uh, end of the course all right so when we say transfer the position line that means you basically take the first position line and uh, draw a parallel line or you can draw the same position line same bearing on to the end of the coastline so when we say we transfer the position line uh, we basically mean we took the position line previous position and put it on the end of the course and that's why transferred position lines are denoted by double arrows so that gives you the transfer position line but you still don't know where the ship's position is after 15 minutes because you still have the same position line you have a single position line but at this point of time you may have come closer to another object or another lighthouse from which you can obtain a bearing and maybe only just a bearing maybe a bearing and a circle bearing after 15 minutes maybe you have come closer to a lighthouse that you can see now you get another bearing so when you get another bearing the intersection of the two position lines then gives you its fixed position so that's running fix running fix is basically obtaining a fix at a uh, at a time and or obtaining a not a fix rather obtaining a position line and then transferring that position line so that the intersection of another position line can give you the vessel's position let me take another this time so like i said you can draw the course from any point on the position line that's what i'm trying to show here it doesn't matter from where you draw you will get the same position all right because you at the beginning at eight o'clock you were not sure where the vessel is so you can draw it from any position any position of the position line let's take the next example of a running fix with leeway for those of you who don't know what leeway is leeway is basically the effect of wind on a ship's course so let's say again you have obtained a single position line 
and you don't know where the vessel's position is from any point on the position line draw this course steered this is course steered without the effect of wind so this is the course that you think you are steering but when you take into account the effect of wind and in this case let's say the wind is coming up from the north of the chart which is giving you a pushing wave by 15 degrees you allow the effect of the wind so leeway stands you allow the effect of the wind and your course change course steered to a course that it makes denoted by double arrows because you allowed for the effect of wind all right single arrow denotes course to steer or course steered but course made good is the actual course that the vessel is now making good because you allowed the effect of the wind the wind is pushing your vessel away from the course it is supposed to steer to the course it's making good all right you can make this uh, for the same vector interval like say for 15 minutes uh, and then wherever the at the end of the 15 minutes and you will draw this on course made good because that's the actual course your vessel is making good not on the course steered remember that all right so the course made good you can transfer the position line the previous position line and because you transferred it the same angle it's like a parallel line you can see the parallel line it's generated by double arrows again and then you obtain another bearing line from say another lighthouse or a fixed object the intersection will give you the vessel's fixed position after a period of time it could be 15 minutes or 10 minutes so coastal navigation try to make it short this is the final example of a running fix with the effect of current so again you obtain an initial position line you don't know where the vessel's position is at this point of time draw the steer from any point on the first position line say after 15 minutes draw the effect of wind the current sorry the effect of current or the set of current that is the direction of current is drawn as three arrows so it's denoted by three arrows so the set determines the direction of the current all right so i've talked about set rate and drift in my previous video if you don't know what the difference is please watch that video first i'll provide you uh, with the link of that video in the description section below so basically the three arrows denote the direction of the current and how it affects the vessel's course so here you don't allow for it but uh, the current is uh, acted or the effect of current is drawn only at the end of the course all right not from the very beginning not like leeway leeway it is drawn or the effect of wind is allowed from the very beginning but the current is drawn only at the end of the course so here you draw the effect of the current and that gives you the course made good so basically your vessel made the course made good denoted by the double arrows here that's the course that the vessel actually made good so not the orange line but the orange line was the vessel that course that the vessel was supposed to steer but because of the current and the current was pushing you towards the land you actually made good a course that is drawn by the purple line or by the double arrows so at the end of the course made good you transfer the position line double arrows because it's a parallel to the previous course line then you obtain another bearing from another lighthouse and the intersection position lines gives you the vessel's fixed position All right. So, like I said before, in coastal navigation, you should draw it as frequently as possible, provided you can get bearings or ranges from different uh, objects on the land. It should be fixed objects, not floating objects. So, I hope these videos were useful to you. And the uh, last example, there's another example. I'm sorry, I, I didn't realize I put in another example here. So, there's another example of a running fix with the effect of both wind and current so the system remains the same you obtain an initial position line and then you from any point of the position line because you are not very sure where the vessel's position is draw the course to steer so this is the course that the vessel would have steered denoted by single arrows and then allow for effect of wind so say a wind is coming from the south of the chart which pushes your vessel towards the land by a certain degree it could be 10 or 15 degrees you allow for the effect of wind like i showed you before uh, the new line would have become the course made good but because you are also allowing for the effect of current and again the current is pushing you again towards the land you draw the effect of current or the direction of the current or the set of the current rather in the direction in which it is setting the arrows point towards the direction in which the current is setting because of which your course made good will now be this new line drawn by 
or denoted by double arrow. So this is the course that the vessel was actually making good. So you wanted to steer the course that the denoted by the single arrow, but you actually made good the course denoted by double arrow because of the effect of wind and current. So you allowed for it. So far you have not counteracted for it. You have only allowed for it and you are calculating what is the course that the vessel is actually making good. We will learn about counteracting in another separate video. So because this is the course that the vessel made good, at the end of the purple line you will transfer to the first position line by double arrows because it's a transfer position line and then you can get another bearing from a separate object or separate fixed position on the land and the intersection of these two position lines gives you a vessel's fixed position. Alright, so that was I hope that was useful to you guys and you liked this video. Uh, thank you for subscribing and thank you for uh, following and giving me positive comments. I look forward uh, to your comments always and all the best with your study guys and I'll see you soon with my next video.